when you see us, you know who we are, because we dress like God told us to dress. That's the judgment of God. I don't give a damn. I don't ask you nothing. You just need to listen. To hell with the white man and his damn problems. We worried about our people. That's why we out here. And right now, you coming in contact with field Negroes. We don't want to be here no more. about any in uh corinthians here's the question when did we get that other spirit because it said if he teaches another gospel another jesus is another spirit when did black folk get another gospel and another spirit of jesus when was it i'll tell you when it was when you negroes was in chains that's exactly when you got another spirit this is because what because look at check this out when we was on the west coast of africa what did the white man say about black men that were over there? Were we docile, subservient, nigga beasts, or, or did they see us as warriors? Warriors, kings, right? But when we came over here, what did they do? They took that spirit out of us. And how did they do it? They taught you a white Jesus. They taught that to you. And now Nick Rose is as docile as hell right here in Atlanta. An right. old ass white man can jo uh, can jog through uh, what's the, one of them uh, places? College Park. What's the place College there? Park. College Park. Centennial Park. Park. An old white woman can jog through Centennial Park right now and won't no nigga touch her. West End. Nobody will touch her. But if a black man go through there with some J's on, right? You look at him up and down. You received another spirit in slavery. So what is what is that actually saying? What is it actually saying in, in Corinthians? If you still a Christian in 2024, you ain't nothing but a new age slave. That's all you are. Give me that in Ezekiel 22 and 25. I'll answer your question right after this. Okay, watch this. Check this out. Read it. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 25. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof. Conspiracy, another word for prophets is pastors. God said in the ancient times it was a, a conspiracy among them. And look what it was. Read. Like a roaring lion uh -huh. ravening in the prey, they have devoured souls. How have they devoured souls? They allow you to remain in your sin. Right. Whether you be a weed smoker, you be a scam artist, you be a stick up guy, you effeminate, you a sodomite, like it is here in Atlanta, they let you stay in your sins. Read on. They have taken the treasure and precious things. What's the treasure that black folk got? What's the treasure you get after working 40, 50 hours a week? What's the treasure that we get? What is it? It's the little bit of paycheck that you get. Right. And where do you take it to? You take it to the church and you give him 10% and right. Creflo right. get the damn check. Right. Right. And you niggas is out here catching martyr. Right. Keep damn. reading. They have made her many widows. Uh -huh. Hold on, they made many widows. What does that mean? Many widows because the pastor's sleeping with the women. Right. Even the married women. Right. Read. In the midst thereof, uh -huh. her, pri her priests have violated my Law. What do the priests do? Violated my law. Our pastors is out here violating God's law. That's right. Right. They teach you grace, 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 but they ain't teaching God's law. And that's why you got sodomites all over here in Atlanta. You got thugs everywhere. You got stick up boys. You got robbers, rapists, murderers, sodomite thugs. Even that, because they ain't teaching the law of God and it's put into our minds so much that we come out the church and defend it. And you see the trouble that our people are going through. That's Go right. ahead. Okay. So who is left of all this creation? Give me that in Proverbs chapter 8. God don't love all his creation. Some niggas, God say, I got to kill them. He don't love everybody. Watch this. Watch this according to the Bible. Proverbs chapter 8. I think it's Sam T. You don't want to go there, bro. Bring it out. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. Listen to this. Hey, hey, brother, listen to this. God loving everybody. Read. I love them. That love me. Hold on. God said what? I love them that love me. God said I love them that love me. That's the misconception that you got in Christianity thinking God is love. God said if you love me, I love you. Read on. And those that seek me early shall find me. And if you seek God, you're going to find him. If you try to, if you're coming out of your sins, God said, I'll meet you. But why are you in the midst of homosexuality, effeminism, breaking God's laws, defiling the Sabbath day, 
He going to leave you where you are because you don't love him. In order to show God that you love him, you got to come out of that sin. That's right. You can't remain in it. That's what Christianity taught us as a people, right. that we can stay in our sins as a people and God will still love us. But according you know to that scripture, it just said, I love them that love me. Can I ask right. you a question? Yeah, ask me a question. Know, you know Huh? Those who are well have no need of a physician. Hold on, wait a minute. What uh what Bible are you reading out of? What what is that? I'm reading Matthew 9. Yeah, what what version is that? KJV, NIV, and KJV. In New King James Version? White man made that. New doctrine. New doctrine. Okay, yeah, it showed there. That's a new doctrine, it's a new spirit. Get that. So what version of the Bible is that? Uh -oh. It's the King James, a black man that ruled Europe. Bring it out. Yeah, that ruled yeah, Great yeah. Britain right. and Scotland at the same time. That's King right. James VI and King James I. You got to know your history. That's a black man. Bring it out. Right. Read that. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. Yeah. The Lord hath made all things for himself. That's right. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. God made the wicked for the day of evil. He going to judge they ass. Right. If you want to stay outside of the, uh, the commandments of God, right. he said, I'm going to reserve you so, for that evil and destroy white, you. So then, right. so then God didn't make white people. God made them. Yeah, he made all of them. He made them to destroy all of them. Because he ain't got, God ain't all love. Right. Right. That's what that white man, that's, that's enough. Right. right now, brother, I hope you're paying attention and hearing yourself right. of what now you realize that you got another spirit on you. Right. Another spirit that Christianity taught you. God love everybody. Come as you are. That ain't nowhere in the that's Bible. Right. God said you got to come out of those sins before you come to him. That's right. that's you got to be able to, you got to be ready to change. That ain't true. First Kings chapter 8. Hey, no. If that ain't true. That's why the, you know what? That's why the damn Christian church, they make mockery of it. Right. That's why the whole world make mockery of Christianity because you allow anything to step through those right. doors. Right. When Moses came to God when he first met him, what did he tell him? Uh -oh. What did he tell Moses uh -oh. to do when he first met him? Does he know? Anybody know? Does you know, know what it is? What did he tell him? Do what? Take off your damn shoes for you come in my house. Right. Leave that filth that you learned in Egypt, right. leave it out there. That's Don't right. track that stuff in my house. Right. Christianity has taught our people come that you are. can come as you are right. and remain Stay in sin. Right. That ain't according to the Bible. Right. You're supposed to change. Right. 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 That's what God wants. Hold on, hold your peace. We're going to read the script. Read that. Verse Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, Bethink means to remember who you are. I'm going to ask you, do you remember who you are? What what race are you to God? What race am I? Uh -oh. Race is a social concept. Oh. All right, what nationality oh. are you? My parents were Ghanaian. I was born in the So what race are you? What nationality are you? I'm American. American? America uh, America is named after a white man. Right. Amerigo right. Vespucci. Right. Your parents white from Ghana? Oh, so you don't know who the hell you are then. Right. You don't remember yourself at all. Right. Not at all. You remember what they told you to remember. You don't remember what God tells you. Because God calls us Israelites. And even if your parents are from Ghana, they would be the scattered in Isaiah 11, 11 according to the scriptures. The Israelites. All right? Keep reading. Yes. If they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captive. If your parents was carried captives here. Their ancestors was carried captive here to Babylon the Great, the Americas. Read. And repent. And do what? Repent. Now here's a question. Here's a question if, if Christianity is teaching our people anything. What does it mean to repent? Bring it on. You. I'm going to ask you, brother. What does it mean to repent? Give me your best thought. What do you think? Ezekiel 18. You don't know? Okay, what does it mean to repent? Repent means to turn away. Turn away from what? To turn away from sin. To turn, to turn away sin. from what? From sin. What is sin? No. What is sin? Yeah. I have a, I have a oh, God, he got a scripture for it. What does it mean, brother? What does it mean to turn away? Because he's right. What are you turning I mean, away like, from? Like you say, all, all the laws that the brother gave, that, that God gave us, those are things we're supposed to turn away from. The Lord dealing with him, he listening, he hearing. Now listen to what it means to repent in the Bible. Because our job ain't co to come out here and shame you all, to destroy you, to condemn you. Our job is just to come out here and point the fallacies out of man-made religion and how it is detrimental to our salvation as a people. So let's read what it means to repent. Because evidently Christianity has not taught us as a whole what it means to truly repent in the eyes of God. So let's read that. 
Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. You see how the Bible keeps saying house of Israel, house of Israel is talking about the 12 tribes. Because God didn't create nobody in the Bible named Ghanaian. He ain't never made an African American or a Haitian. He calls you the children of Israel. So listen to it when he says Israel. No, it's talking about us in the Bible. So read it again. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. This is the judgment of God for the house of Israel. How do we know that? Because look, look, look. What what month just passed? We in March 2nd right now, right? What passed? Black History Month. Now when you Google black history or you google slave do the chinese people pop up what about the arabs sister do the arabs pop up when you type in slavery what about the russians surely the russians are in, uh, in chains on google because everybody went into slavery according to christianity so who pops up when you type in slavery god judged us that's what that is God is letting us know. And let's go back to what Kat was saying earlier. We know God is real because he judged us by letting this happen to nobody else on earth but the blacks and Hispanics That's of the world. Right. That's the judgment of God when you rebel against him. And then guess what he do? He'll leave you in the place where he judged you, give you a white man's name, and then leave your ass to suffer oppression where you at. That's the judgment of God. I don't give a damn. I don't ask you nothing. You just need to listen. That's right. Because you ain't learned nothing in Christianity. Just listen. Read that. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. God judged us. Read. Everyone according to his way. So if you're in the midst of uh, murder, rape, sodomy, effeminism, smoke cigarettes, you name it, defile the Sabbath, God said, I'm going to judge every single one of you. Every one of you. Hell yeah. God judged me too. And you know what I did? I did this. Read. Say the Lord God. Uh, repent. I repented. God judged the hell out of me. Brought me on the, I was at rock bottom. And I repent. I said, God, I, I don't want this no more. I repented. I did what? Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgression. All your what? Transgression. Transgression is what? The breaking of what? There you go. Breaking the laws. I turned from that. I read what God told me not to do. I started to do. Oh, God said keep the seventh day holy. God said I can't be fornicating out here. I can't be sleeping with all these women. A woman, I can't be no baby mama. I can't be doing all of this stuff. You know what, God? I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to get married. I'm going to keep the Sabbath day holy. I'm going to put fringes on my clothes. I am going to recognize myself as an Israelite from the tribe of Judah to hell with being an American black. We the Judites, the Benjamites, Levites, all the 12 tribes of Israel. And we go around and say it proudly. And when you see us, you know who we are because we dress like God told us to dress. When you Now, this is the thing because you got some knowledge about the Bible and stuff and so we know you understand a little bit but now what you got to do is begin to change your ways so you can people can identify you as the sons and daughters of God right, right now right now you are being identified as this right here a good old slave that's all you are you repeating the same stuff that the white man taught us in slavery you repeating it over and over again and right now you coming in contact with field negroes we don't want to be here no more it ain't good for us we, it ain't it ain't we sick around here to hell with the white man and his damn problems we worried about our people that's why we out here Nation is men leading by example.